Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this beautiful Chior solar lights for outside. You can use them to illuminate a pathway tree whatsoever. They are really nicely beautiful built. They come with this solar panel on top, which is charging the batteries inside automatically during the day. And as soon as there is no light anymore on the solar panel, it will activate the light here inside. So you can see that here when I hold my hand on it, really nice, beautiful, warm white. And I'm going to show you the six set, which comes with six lights, with six ground stakes, and also with some screws or anchor if you need it for wall mount. And so here we have the package of the six pack with warm light. There's also some user manual. If you want to have a look at it so they come single wrapped nicely protected so you don't have to be worried that something happens also protected in the front and of course what they are saying is that they only work during the night or when they don't have any light on the solar panel so that's why they are not working now even when I turn it on, you can see nothing is going to happen, but when I cover it, it's turning on. And so you don't have to do anything except from choosing the right brightness. So I make it a little bit darker so I can show you that here in this position, it's turned off. We push, it goes into the low brightness. We push again, goes into medium brightness. And when we push again, goes into the highest brightness. Of course, it's not easy to see the difference because of the camera. The camera always tries to adjust to the different brightness levels, but there is definitely a difference. When I go and cycle through the different options, I think you can see that. But of course, in real life, it's a huge difference. Really nice, well made. Of course, depending on that, the illumination duration will change. If you want to have the longest illumination, then put it on low brightness. And to make a really good impression, we have this angle here, which can be adjusted and secured. So we can untighten it. It's very flexible. And when we have it in the right position, we secure it here. Make sure that it has a really nice angle towards the sun. Usually 90 degrees is optimal to have most power. Then we get these ground spikes. They are plastic, but I would say they are pretty solid. So you can push them here inside is how it works. But I highly recommend to push them into the ground first. And after that, apply the solar lights. The set comes also with some screws and anchors. You can also do a wall mount. And so we can see the two holes here. This is where the screws would go. So a really nice, beautiful, solid set. So I'm putting them outside and let them charge the whole day. And after that, I'll check during the night how they are performing. And so I have these beautiful lights here along these three palm trees. Absolutely awesome, beautiful two lights for each palm tree. You can see they have already turned on. The sun is down and they are illuminating really nicely here. Every palm tree, absolutely fantastic. So beautiful. I had some lights before and they were at end of life. And this is so nice, so beautiful again. Absolutely perfect. And so this is how they look in total darkness. You can see uh, sun is down, it's 10 p.m. And apart from these lights, there is not much light and they are illuminating these trees. Absolutely beautiful. And so for me, they work absolutely awesome. And so I can give you full recommendation. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.